new subscriber, welcome. And if you are a follower for a while, how you doing? <laughs> I don't even know why I'm like this. But, um, hi, my name is Kenny. This is my channel. And today I thought I'd just do like a summary. Is that a word? I think so. Let's just say a summer dewy kind of glowy look. Um, I showed um, a trick that I have been putting into practice um, over summer just to kind of help my makeup mesh together and look a bit more natural. Um, I don't really like it when you can see that kind of like that contour blush highlight, like that's my pet peeve. So I really love um, fusing all those elements together and I try to kind of get that through in this video and I hope it's helpful. So yeah, like I said, glowy summer makeup, um, kept the eyes pretty neutral. Uh, one thing that I love doing is having a pretty simple, not too groomed brow um, when I'm going for like a more dewy look just because um, I want my skin to take the focus rather than my eyebrows being like on fleek. That's my personal preference, you don't have to do that. But yeah, um, I hope the video is helpful and as ever, if you have any questions, just comment down below. Um, like this video, subscribe, share, do all that because we know your girl loves it. Um, yes. If you want to see how I achieve this look, keep watching. Thanks guys and see you in my next video. So we're going to jump straight in and we're going to start off with priming. I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer and I am thoroughly rubbing that into my skin i don't really get that oily but um it's quite warm in summer so i thought i'd show you guys quite a good drugstore primer i'm also going to use a pore minimizing primer and this is by smashbox just put that in my target areas which is like around my mouth my nose and um, on my cheeks yes i look crazy i can't deny it but i am color correcting so i thought i'd put this in for you guys that have any um hyperpigmentation or just dark marks around your face i have quite a few um under my eyes especially around my mouth and um i use an orange toned um color corrector and this should just cancel out any darkness I didn't show me doing my foundation on camera, but I used the MAC Face and Body Foundation. Um, then I moved on to my concealer and I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear and the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I just mix those two together and put them in the standard highlighting areas. So I went in with a flat brush from Real Techniques just to blend that out. I normally go in with a sponge, my beauty blender, to blend that out but I thought I'd try something different as this gives um, a more precise edge to my highlight. I personally didn't really like the results, I thought it came out a bit patchy almost so I definitely prefer using a damp sponge, um, that's just always going to be my go to but if this is your thing, keep doing it. <laughs> So I just had to go in with my beauty blender. I think I actually used it dry here. I think, I can't remember. Um, I think that's why I didn't really like the outcome of my concealer in this video, but you live to learn. So I'm just going in with my beauty blender and just pressing it into those areas, just pressing it into the skin, just to make it look a bit more flawless. I like to set my concealer. Literally as soon as I've done it, I don't mess around with that. So I used the Sasha Buttercup powder and I used a, um, like a wedge sponge, which I personally, again, <laughs> don't really like trying something different in this video. I prefer using a, a damp sponge to do that. I then dusted off that powder and went in um, all over my face with my face powder, which is by Black Opal. I think I'm in the shade dark. And then swiftly moving on to my eyebrows, I used the Sleek Eyebrow Stylist, which I absolutely love. I think I have it in the dark shade. I've used the medium before. Um, it's a little bit too light, but I like to use the dark with just a really light hand. I'm just showing you guys how I created just a simple brow. Like I didn't even use any concealer to clean it up or anything. I just really like soft brows at the moment. Um, if I'm going for a more natural look or if I have bright lips, I really just love the look of soft brows. So moving on to the eyes, I went in with my bronzer, which is actually by um, Shea Moisture. And I put that um, mainly in my crease and um, on my outer and inner corners of my lid and this will kind of create like a little bit of a sandwich to put a lighter colour in the middle. 
so I used um, my blush weirdly enough to do this and I think this is Lovejoy by MAC if I'm wrong I'll put it in the description box because I can't really remember but um, I just patted that right on the center of my lid and it just gave the most gorgeous little like a glow from within on my eyelid like it looked like I had nothing on my eyelid but there was just I don't even know how to describe it but it was just a, a really nice um, combination I went back in with my bronzer just to ensure that um, the edges are kept neat and um, I definitely have that crease I used my liquid liner by Stila and I just I kind of lined just the top really really thin it wasn't that noticeable and the tiniest little wing you couldn't even call it a wing i just say i extended my bottom lash line a little bit so i showed you guys um my lashes and how i put them on i use tweezers and i i'm holding a mirror just below and i'm looking down into that mirror which helps me to see where my lash line is and where my lashes are and where exactly i'm putting my lashes on um, as you can see sometimes the struggle is real and you cannot get those lashes on perfectly so it just goes to show that even someone that wears makeup um, quite regularly isn't um, always able to get those lashes on in the first go I used a black eyeliner just to tight line um, my eyes and also to go over the lash band just to ensure that it's not hugely obvious that there's um, lashes on my eyes. I went in with my mascara um, just to blend my own natural lashes with the falsies. So moving on to my favourite bit, bronzing my face. I have stopped really contouring per se and I love to bronze my face too. So I'm using the same bronzer that I used on um, my um, lids and um, I'm really sculpting out my cheekbones and my jaw here because this is like this is a less of a red tone bronzer. Um, so I used a more red tone bronzer which is the Covergirl Ebony Bronze and this is more to bring warmth to my face than to really sculpt out. I love pairing these two together. Um, my blush is the same blush that I put on my lid and um, it just gives a really glowy look again it, it It's not so obvious that you're wearing um, a blush. It doesn't really give me that much color, but it gives me that glow um, I'm just snatching my nose here and um, just a pretty light contour um, Nothing too obvious and I'm just going in on the depths of my uh, Cupid's bow just to give it some definition going in with my Laura Geller um, highlighter in Gilded Honey which I absolutely love honestly and I'm just hitting the um, tops of my cheekbones the bridge of my nose um, the upper parts of my temple and um, my Cupid's bow and also underneath my eyebrow just the arch of my eyebrow um, again just gives you a gorgeous glow So like I said, my secret trick, I take my face powder, which is Max MSF and Dark, and I use a buffing brush and I buff this all over my face, over my highlight, over my contour, over my bronzer, everything, everything. And um, I got this tip from Goss Makeup Artist, who I believe got it from another makeup artist, and I just love how it makes my makeup have a more skin-like appearance, because in reality, your skin is very fluid. There isn't such harsh definitions between um, your highlight and your contour or the low lights and the highlights of your face so this just helps everything mesh together and look more fluid I'm taking my Colourpop highlighter in Most Necessary just placing that on the highest points of my cheeks and slightly up onto my temples just to give a more ethereal glow and that glow from within and a bit of a pop of extra highlight I'm taking my Too Faced mascara which is amazing on my bottom lashes just highlighting my um, tear duct with the Laura Geller highlighter just to give a little nice kick of gold. I'm using two lip pencils or lip liners from MAC, um, went in with plum just a tiny bit and then went in with chestnut just to line my lips. I used my favourite, favourite, favourite liquid lipstick right now which is Mars by Coloured Rain which I I'm actually in love with this colour. Um, it's coming off a little bit lighter on camera, but it is a nice dusty mauve pink for us deeper skin tones. Went back in with chestnut just to redefine my um, lips. Went in with concealer just to define my cupid's bow and the edges of my lips. I used two sprays. I used the NYX Dewy just to bring some dew back and the Ben Lai Final still to lock in everything. And that is the finished result. I hope you liked the look guys and stay tuned for my next video which should be up pretty soon. Thank you so much for watching guys. Love you. Bye.